This is a good book. This is a bad book. What have I just done? I have made a value judgment on two books. The books just are. They are just things that are there. Whether or not they are good or bad uh, is not phenomenally apparent in them. Something has to place value upon these. I have placed value upon them. I have declared that The Hunchback of Notre Dame is a good book and that Moby Dick is a bad book. Incidentally, I think both are superb books, but anyway, that's not the point. Um, what I've done is I've taken some initiative. I have initiated an evaluation of those books. That initiation is, in my opinion, uh, a function of agency. It's something that I have done. It's an initiative I have taken. It's an act that I have performed that places value on these two books. I believe that you can't have value, good or bad, without agency. You can't have good or bad without some sort of action, without some sort of initiative. Therefore, you get into an interesting situation in which agency seems to have value that supersedes good or bad value. It seems to be a necessary ingredient in the idea of value itself. Is value good or bad? I mentioned in a comment to conference report that I believe that assessing the value, good or bad, of uh, agency itself is something like the liar's paradox. You end up in, in an infinite regression. What um, what value does value does agency have when agency itself is necessary uh, to place uh, value on anything? Um, but the problem is, of course, the fact that agency is a necessary ingredient in value itself leads one to the conclusion that it's of greater value than any other values, good or bad. It's an interesting conundrum, and I don't really know if it is a conundrum. It may be just uh, a function of um, our limited ideas, our limited and binary view of value, as opposed to a holistic view of value. Um, without agency, there is no value, but um, when we decide whether or not agency is good or bad, how do we make that determination? But this doesn't detract from Schlock of God's view that the deprivation of agency is bad, um, and from a moral perspective, it is immoral, it is unethical. Thank you.